Hey YouTubies, it's Jenny. Today is um, July 27th, 2012. Um, I can't remember the last time I actually did a vlog. It's been so long. Um, but I'm doing one now because I'm home. I had to um, leave work early. I had a doctor's appointment, which I'll get to in a minute. I'm going to try to be brief about this because I watched a few of my older vlogs um, like from a while ago. and Oh my gosh, I talk a lot. I don't shut up. Oh my gosh, something I'm working on. Um, I do apologize for the quality of this vlog. I don't know what's going on with this webcam. I have no idea. Um, but, you know, hopefully it's not going to affect you watching it. I hope you, you know, watch the whole thing. But anyway, um, so I'm going to mainly stick to um, gastric bypass stuff. I'm going to try not to go off on other things, but. Uh, there's a few things I need to talk about that possibly are related to the surgery. I'm not 100% sure. That's what I'm working on figuring out now. Um, I didn't weigh myself today. I've actually been kind of uh, steering clear of the scale because I got on it a couple months ago and I gained a few pounds and I wasn't too happy about that. Um, but I did weigh myself yesterday and it was one, uh, yeah. 172, which, okay, from previous vlog, you know I was down to 165. Um, but they did say you were going to put a little bit of weight back on after the surgery, after you plateau. Okay, fine, whatever. I'm going to try to start exercising, and everybody knows in previous vlogs I said that I don't exercise. Okay. I am going to try to get on that. I am going to buy a bicycle, and I'm going to start biking around the neighborhood or whatever. Anyway, um... Yeah, so I'm sure you're probably wondering why I'm wearing this bandana on my head. Okay, if you can see it, because I can see myself and I know I it's really blurry. Um, this bandana actually has butterflies on it. Okay, but anyway. Um, yeah, and there's stuff strapped to my head. I'll get to that in a second. Um, quick story. Hopefully I can make this quick. Um, you all know that in 2010, um, I started having panic attacks. Um... So I was, I've been seeing a doctor about that. I'm on medication and whatnot. Um, in like October-ish or something of 2011, um, they doc, the doctor, I started seeing a psychiatrist. Um, my doc, the doctor there, um, she put me on, uh, I think it was Celexia or something. Um, and I, I did touch on this in a previous vlog um, about the whole libido, low sex drive thing. Um, so I, you know, I explained this all to my doctor. She put me on Wellbutrin. And anybody who knows anything about Wellbutrin knows that, um, it could cause seizures. Um, and I'm thinking like, eh, I'm not going to be one of those people. Whatever. Just continued on with my life. Um, December 20th of 2011, I was asleep and... I don't know, Rob wakes me up in the middle of the night, and apparently I my body was convulsing, my eyes were rolling into the back of my head, I was making all these weird gargling noises, and like, it, it was just, it freaked him out. And I didn't, I don't know what's going on, you know, I had no idea, so we called 911, 911 came, took me to the hospital, they checked things to see if I had, a, you know, a heart attack, or this, that, you know, they checked a bunch of stuff, and all the, everything came back fine. Um, doctor still couldn't determine what it was, so they kept me overnight. Um, I stayed overnight. They, the next day they did a, um, apparently at some point they did, a, they did a CAT scan. I don't remember them doing it, but they did an EEG, not an EKG, an EEG. And, um, basically what that does is for people who don't know, they strap all this crap to your head and they basically test for, uh, like, test your brain waves and things like that to see if anything's going on, you know, um, whatever. Um, and everything came back fine from as far as I, as far as I know. Well, the next day they sent me home. January 3rd, I think it was, or somewhere around there, I ended up having another seizure in my sleep, okay? Now, by this point, I've already been to my doctor, who told me I did not have a seizure, that it was a um, panic attack in my sleep, and I do suffer from a panic disorder. I go see my psychiatrist, told her what happened. She says the same thing. It didn't, it didn't add up to me. 
Well, this January 3rd or whenever date it was, the same thing happened. This time it was so bad that all the muscles in my body were just totally like sore. I couldn't move because any when you have seizures, your body can, sometimes can convul start convulsing. Well, mine did so bad that I my back, my whole upper back was just oh, I felt like I was hit by like a Mack truck. It was horrible. Started seeing a um, started seeing a, a chiropractor who I really think messed my back up more. Stop seeing him. My back got better. It still hurts a little bit, and it's July. This happened in January, but what are you gonna do? Uh, May twenty fifth comes. I come home. I was just out with my out with a couple friends. I came home. Um, I felt like my blood sugar was dropping a little bit, and I'm not diabetic or anything. I felt like my blood sugar was dropping a little bit, and I laid across my bed. And the next thing I know, Rob's on top of me, shaking me. Um, I felt like I fell asleep. Um, and I felt like I was in a dream state, but in the dream, I felt like my body was jerking and convulsing. Here, I had another seizure, or, you know, possible seizure. This time, he calls the paramedics. It was only like 9 o'clock at night. Uh, they come, they evaluate me, take me to the ER. They did an EKG on me and a couple other tests. They didn't do another EEG or a CAT scan, but they checked me. They classified it as a grand mal seizure. Sent me home. I made a doctor's appointment with my doctor and took all the paperwork with me to his office, showed him everything, and he did, he told me it wasn't a seizure. You had a panic attack. Really? Okay. So I'm getting sick of this. I said to him, Doc, listen, you got the MD after your name. I don't. I'm a patient. But when I start reading about stuff, um, you know, you read about one thing and then, like, you read that, and you're like, oh, I think I have that. And then you read something else. Oh, I think I have that. I started reading about all kinds of crap. The only thing that makes sense to me, and again, my doctor thinks I'm, I'm crazy, is I believe that I'm hypoglycemic, which if anybody who doesn't know what that is, is when your blood sugar drops. It doesn't go up. You're not, not hyper, it's hyperglycemic when it goes up. Hyper, hypo is when it goes down really low. And I'm not diabetic. Both my parents are. Well, not my mom's not anymore. But my dad is still. But uh, every time this has happened, even the other two times when I came out of this episode, I, I felt like my blood sugar was really, really low. Um, and there's been times in the middle of the night I would wake up and my blood sugar would, be, would drop. And I would feel like I did when I had a seizure. Um, or the supposed seizure. Whatever. Um you know, I, I said to my doctor, I said, listen, dude, you know, you're not giving me answers. You're not sending me for any tests, but this is, I'm going to tell you, I think I'm hypoglycemic and my blood sugar drops so low to a point that it causes seizures, which I did do research on. And that is possible. Still trying to tell me I'm having panic attacks. So I said, fine. Guess what I did? I went to my friend's doctor and told him everything. He said, yeah, it is possible that your blood sugar is dropping and causing seizures. Sends me for sends me to a neurologist, wants me to have blood work done, which I went for, and it's a five-hour test. It's a glucose test. Went there. They screwed up my appointment time, and they wouldn't do the, the, the blood test. So I got to make another appointment to go have this done. Um, yesterday, I had to go for an MRI. I went to the neurologist. They scheduled an appointment for an MRI um, thing, which was really cool because where I had to go is I'm, I'm from Philly. Where I had to go was the Novacare complex. Is where the Eagles practiced and all. It was pretty cool. Um, went there, had the MRI done. It was awesome. Like the people were there were really great. Um, today I had to go to Jefferson Hospital in Center City and have an EEG done. Well, this EEG is a 48-hour EEG, and the reason why I'm wearing the bandana on my head is because of this. All in here. See all these crazy things on my head? Yeah, they're detecting, they're all in my head, all over the place. They're protect, they're detecting um, brain waves. Um, and to see, you know, if if I have a seizure. They said it's good if I have one because it'll pick it up. Not that it's good that I have one, but it would pick it up on the test. I have to wear this lovely, I call it my satchel. And it goes perfect with my Allen shirt. Um... Alan from The Hangover, if anybody doesn't know. Anyway, maybe two of you will get that reference. But uh, 
I have my little satchel bag here with the uh, thing in here that's recording at all my brain needs. It even records when I'm chewing, when I'm sleeping. It records everything. It doesn't record voices or anything, but it records that when I'm sleeping, when I go into REM. It's awesome, right? Um, so, yeah, so this is where I'm at now. Um, since my surgery, I've, I've, uh, let's see, I became anemic. Uh, my vitamin D levels are very low, so I'm taking vitamin D once a week. Um, I've acquired a panic attack disorder. Um, now possible seizures. Oh, my words with friends. Okay. Uh, possible seizures, which I think possibly being hypoglycemic. I, you know, I've done, I've seen blogs on people that are like, oh, well, I, you know, since surgery, this is happening. And I'm thinking, I'm not going to be one of those people. I don't know. Guess what? I believe all this possibly may be attributed to the surgery. I don't know. But it's just effed up. Like, it just seems like everything all of a sudden just hit me at one time. And it's crazy. Like, I just, I don't know what to do. And, I, again, I'm seeing, it's still blurry. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't know. I may have to get a new webcam. I don't know. Um, but, yeah, I, I got to do this for 48 hours. It sucks that I got to carry this around, but whatever. And, yeah, people were staring at me. I mean, I look like a total idiot right now, but I look so stupid. But um, if it's going to detect something, and part of me hopes it does, but I hope it's not anything, like, you know, life-threatening. I just hope if it's seizures, I hope it, I hope it detects it. Because then we, we know it's seizures. Let's go to the next step. Then I can rub it after everything's resolved. I can rub it in my doc primary doctor's face. And then that's when I'm switching doctors. But, um, yeah, so... Uh, that's really all that's been going on with me lately. I haven't really had any other things. Um, I do want to apologize to anybody who's seen previous vlogs. Um, obviously, in a, probably maybe the last seven to ten ones, um, especially the ones that Rob's in, yeah, we're a little intoxicated. I do apologize for that. For a while, I did take up uh, alcoholism as a hobby. They say that happens, you know, you, uh, I forget what they call it, uh, was it transfer addiction or something like that, where you can't, you can't eat, but you're going to find something else to do. Well, that's what happened. And I started smoking again, which I'm working on quitting, but please, please pray that I, I am successful. I did quit for a long time before my surgery. I hope I can do it again and stick with it because I hate smoking, but it just, I can't, you know, you become addicted to it and it's so hard to break that habit, you know, um, so yeah, I, I don't really drink as much as I used to, um, I know my limit, I still drink, I'm not gonna lie, I drink, whatever, don't drink as much as I used to, um, I'm a lot more mindful with what I do when I drink, and I don't get to the point where, like, I'm on here making vlogs and stuff like that, I'm not, to that. I'm done, that, that, I'm embarrassed by that, but I don't want to take the, 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 the vlogs down, because it, to me, it's still showing progress, so, yeah, you saw me before my, you saw me right after my surgery, actually before my surgery, right after my surgery, you saw my decline, my weight decline, then, you know, you saw what happened, like, okay, well, she can't eat anymore, so now she's drinking, okay, and now, look at all these problems that I'm, so, I'm not taking them down, I'm a little embarrassed, no, I'm really embarrassed by them, but I'm not taking them down, so I hope whoever's watching this video could watch my other ones and just see, like, I did go kind of on a downward spiral, but I'm coming back. I, I feel great about myself. I, I really do. Besides all these issues, I feel good. Um, besides the few few pounds that I put on, like it's all in my stomach, I feel fine. Um, I've gotten a couple. I got a new tattoo. Um, let me see. It's really blurry, but it's a heart. Anybody who likes Marilyn Manson um, knows that this is the heart that was on his um, Eat Me, Drink Me album. And I always really liked the heart, so I got it on. Um, I'm going to see him and Rob Zombie October 19th over at the uh, Twitter, or I'm sorry, the uh, Susquehanna Center. It's going to be awesome. Uh, next month, me, Rob, and a couple of our friends are going to Hershey, PA. They're having the, the summer mixtape out there, like the new kids on the block are going to be there at Backstreet Boys. LL Cool J, I'm, I cannot wait. Uh, DJ Paul AD from Jersey Shore, um, The Wanted. Um, and like a couple of oh, 98 degrees and a couple other people I can't remember off the top of my head but they're all going to be there it's going to be awesome it's a two day festival and it's nowhere else in the United States except Hershey PA awesome right 
told my mom. She was like, oh, it's kind of going to be like Woodstock. I said, yeah, minus the LSD, mom. But like, eh, whatever. And we're staying at a hotel, so I can shower and everything. I'll be happy about that. But um, that's pretty much all that's going on in my life right now. It's just been a big cluster F. Um, so, yeah. Um, yeah, that's it. Um, sorry again about the blurriness. I'm going to try to correct that, and I will try to get on here more often to let you know what's going on with my progress. Hopefully there's nothing else uh, too major. Oh, one other thing I do want to ask. If somebody's watching this and if they can relate to this, please message me or leave a comment or something about this. About a month ago, I started getting these pains on my left side, like I guess where my stomach is, not my pouch, but my stomach. Well, at first, you know, I was like, oh, you know, whatever. I just kind of blew it off. Over the past month, it's progressed. It's to the point where it, it, it's on my side, and it's in my shoulder. Pain shoots down my arm, up my neck, and kind of like right in here. And it freaks me out because it's on my left side. It hurts on your left side. It freaks me out. doesn't help with my... Mommy! Mommy! It's my mom calling Mommy. to call her back. Um, it's really freaking me out. Now, a lot of people say it could be gas. Thank you. Okay, I fart enough. I... Everybody who's had the surgery knows gastric bypass farts are no joke, um, but it hurts. This this pain is like really really bad. So um, I'm going to try to make an appointment with my GI doctor to find out if that's what it is, or you know, you know, if it's something else. I want to know. Um, but yeah, other than that, oh, I, the reason why I brought that up is if anybody else is having similar problems, please message me to let me know. I'm not the only one. Please thank, it, give me a peace of mind if you did. Um, so that's it. I'm going to go. You see me with my crazy Frankenstein crap going on. Um, and anybody who was concerned about me from, from pre previous vlogs, thank you for being concerned. I really do appreciate it. Um, I am doing a lot better than, than what I was. So, um, thank you. So, um, I'm going to go. Um, I hope I didn't make this too long. I talk way too much. Um, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.